Okay, so here is my engine currently. Um, it still has the hole in the piston from the last video. So what I did is today I cut out this chunk of steel. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bolt that onto this new piston with a shaved off top, so I still have the same compression ratio. I'm gonna bolt that onto there, and I'm currently printing out the template to drill the bolt holes in here. I'm gonna bolt that onto there. And then we shouldn't have any more issues with uh, blowing a hole through the piston. Okay, so right here is the piston. It is all ready and machined out. I have the plate weld on top and it fits in there nicely. So yeah, it's going to be, it's time now. I'll be able to uh, throw the new piston in there and I should be able to test tomorrow, which will be nice because it's dark out right now. But yeah, that'll fix the, that, that should fix it blowing holes through the piston now. Um... But yeah, I'll throw that in there and I'll see how well, how smooth it, how smooth it moves up and down. Okay, so this is going to be the compression test for the engine. Here is going to top dead center. The compression is insane. So I think, I think we'll be plenty good to test. It's got crazy compression. Alrighty, I guess I'll start off with the ignition unhooked. And I'll see if I can even pull this thing over but now with this insane compression. I'll see if I can even pull over the engine. Yeah, I can pull it over. All right, I'm a little, this has got some crazy compression. I'm a little bit worried, <laughs> to be honest with you. All righty. actually running okay yep yeah, that's why I wore a full face shield it was actually running though it literally started up oh there's the there is the crankshaft um <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to do that it was literally running though it literally actually was running okay so starting down here here is the the upper end everything looks just fine except for plastic shards everywhere everything looks just fine up here the crankcase is in like eight different pieces. Uh, one of the all thread rods is bent, but I'll just put that in a vise and bend that back. This thing got a little loosey goosey, but it seems fine. Um, the crankshaft right here, I'll have to remake that. I don't know where one of these went. One of these are gone. That might have been what hit my face shield because I can't, there's supposed to be six. Um, the welds broke on the crankshaft. That's the only thing that broke right where my welds were. The welds broke and that was probably because I used a very very cheap welder um, the I think I think the piston and everything was fine until like I think that broke because it got slammed into everything in the bottom and then I think that broke right there because that got slammed into the base that was holding it and I think that's what broke that um, other than that everything in the head and the valves and everything seemed fine so I'll have to reprint the crankcase which I'm gonna make it stronger I'm going to remake the connecting rod using the same using the same steel rod, but I'm going to make it much stronger. I'm going to actually do like, instead of just having a bolt that I weld on there and then a piece that's welded in the middle there, I'm going to take some quarter inch flat bar and I'm going to cover the sides. I'm going, I'm going to do like, I'm going to actually make the crank uh, like a counterweight and everything. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll do that in this video because I mean, th th that was, this is only two days after my first video on this engine. So I'll, I think I'll do all that and I'll come back to you guys when I actually start working on making all the upgrades for this engine. Okay, so I have the crankcase printed out, the new one. I put an oil fill in there instead of the other one had the, uh, hole for the intake for a two-stroke. I have the bearing holders done. There's the crankshaft template. And right here is what the crankshaft is going to look like. Um, this is this is very similar to Camden Bowens. It's just basically upsized, and I guess I designed it with my own. 26 millimeter, uh, 20, 26 millimeter throw on each side, so 52 millimeter stroke, which will make this 180 cc's. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go weld everything up, and it's looking pretty good. I designed that in Tinkercad, uh, right there, and then I printed it out, and I made. And I just copied this off of it, and I'm going to go weld it up, and I'll see how it goes. Okay, so I have the uh, crankshaft all welded up. 
everything seems to be going good. It's very, very close to being uh, perfectly uh, balanced, but everything is going pretty good. Um, the counterweights are set, and they're a little heavy for plastic, but will be perfect for aluminum. But uh, so far, everything is going good. Now what it's time to do is it's time to print out the new piston and connecting rod, and then it's time to assemble it and start testing again. Okay, so here is the new connecting rod. It is two millimeters thicker than the last one, but I am a little bit hesitant to use it. I'm reprinting the piston right now, but if that snaps again, my brand new crankcase is going to get destroyed. Um, but I made it thicker and I increased the I increased the thickness by a little bit. So hopefully it's stronger in the pistons printing right now. Um, but yeah, basically once the piston's done, I'll be able to assemble it and start testing. And the carburetor is going to be arriving tomorrow, so I'll have everything ready, hopefully. But yeah, I'm a little hesitant to use that, but I think everything will be fine. This ought to be fun. I think I got it. Had to switch out the roll halfway through. And this one's almost empty as well. Might have to do it one more time. Okay, so right here I have some used motor oil. I'm gonna use that to fill up the engine and then we're ready to test it. Okay, it's time to test it officially. I'm quite worried. <sighs> I'll do one pull start to test it without anything else, without, the, without any fuel in it. No ignition either, just test it. One touch pull. Oh my god. What is that? Okay, so I can't pull it over fully, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna test it and see what happens. I am a bit scared, but hopefully I'll be out of the way if it blows up again but I cannot pull this thing fully over for the life of me. So hopefully it gets going. I'm quite scared. Oh, what was that? We blew a hole through the, we blew a hole through the piston, didn't we? Well, I took the engine apart and everything is fine on the inside of the engine. It just blew the cat court gasket out. You can see it in the video. It was like this. It shot out the front of it. So I need to find something better for the gasket. But so far, everything else seems to be holding up, surprisingly. But yeah, I'll need to find something better than the cork gasket for head gasket material. Okay, I got the camera on. It is ready to test. I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> the other possibilities. Okay, ready? Let's <laughs> take the ignition off and... We still have compression, so we're good to go for another test run. Test pull. No, I didn't really fire. Okay, so somehow my flywheel actually rotated on even after the keyway was cut. So I fixed that and I torqued it up as much as I could without an impact. But yeah, I'm gonna test it again. Ready, Hudson? Yeah. Let's hope it doesn't blow up. I don't think anything broke. Huh. Nothing broke. Nothing did? That's actually Nothing broke. Person. Wait, hold on. Wait, Hudson, wait. Yeah, I'll watch you again. Oh, that's not good. That one sounded rough, but let's see if anything broke. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I think I just found the reason why it was so hard to pull over. Right now I have the crankcase, uh, the oil cover on. 
and it's actually pretty difficult to turn over. Now let's pull that out. It turns over really nice. So I think it was building pressure in the crankcase, which is very weird because I don't even have any RTV silicone in there. And the other one with RTV silicone for the two-stroke, I wasn't building crankcase pressure. But now it turns over really easy like that. Okay, so here is the carburetor. It came with some fuel line. I took this thing off the top there because I didn't need it. Um, and I did not have any throttle cable and did not want to have to wait for some to arrive. So what I did is I just soldered a little ball on the end of this copper wire and I put it into the little slit that's on there and boom, it works perfectly. Um, I can't really show you because I have, I have to hold it. It needs two hands. But now the throttle cable works perfectly and now it's on to making the adapter so I can mount that onto the engine. Okay, so here's the carburetor all mounted up on the engine. Um, I'm going to start with half choke, see if it'll run. My fuel tank is going to be a water bottle. I'm currently waiting for a hot glue gun to heat up because I'm going to use those popsicle sticks. I'm basically going to stick it right there so it's gravity fed. Um, but yeah, for the I'm going to run two stroke mix uh, so that it burns better. Um, but yeah, basically everything is ready to actually test and see if this thing will run. So what I forgot to tell you guys is this new gasket is a homemade gasket. It is using a cereal box, card cardboard from cereal box, uh, and then I have it wrapped in aluminum foil, and each layer has RTV silicone, and I'm gonna test that out, and hopefully it works. Give me one. Yeah. I'll just leave this one going again. You're both staring. You're both staring at each other. Open it. Oh my god. Okay, it should go on this one. Yep, it did. It should run on this one, but for some reason I feel like the carburetor is not delivering fuel. Yes. Yeah, the carburetor is definitely... Yep. Ah, yeah, holy crap. And it decides... Head must be getting hot. It's warm. Yeah, I'll take a break. Holy crap. Stop! Just dumping fuel! Stop! Maybe I should adjust the idle. Make it have a little higher idle. Okay, for some reason, I took a 45 minute break and when I came back outside, I could not pull it over for the life of me. So I don't know what's happening there, but I think the reason why it's not running is because of the intake. It's got a leak, if I can hold the phone, through there, through this side, it's leaking through there, and it's leaking through there. So I think what's happening is it's drawing too much fuel through, I mean too much air through here and not enough fuel through the carburetor. I don't know why it's just dumping through the bowl, so what I'm going to do is I, I'm replacing the carburetor to see. Um, but yeah, I think every, everybody I've talked to thinks that that is the reason why it's not running. So I turned this out of some one inch uh, thick steel rod on my lathe, and I'm going to basically make a metal intake manifold so that I won't have any leaks, and then we'll see if it runs. Okay, so I got a 3D printed intake manifold on there now. I tried doing the metal one but every time i would every time i would try to do this the drill press would have the hole in the center so the drill doesn't go through the uh, deck and this it doesn't have enough room so it would push it down and i can't get the bolt holes and then that turned egg shaped from it pulling it down so what i did is i just 3d printed a thicker one and it's really solid now and i put rtv up there and this has an o-ring on the carburetor so i'm going to throw uh, now it's ready to test so this is also the new carburetor so hopefully it doesn't dump fuel through there but yeah, it's time to test it now. Okay, we're all ready to test. It sucks because 
I can't pull it over, I have to take it apart. I don't have a way to mark the bottom time here because it's black and I don't have a marker that will write on it. Let's hope I can get enough inertia out of this flywheel with it just past top dead center. Yes! <laughs> it actually ran! It actually ran! Oh, it just blew my intake man. Hold off. <laughs> it actually ran! Okay, so it was actually running. The only reason why it stopped is because on that pole, the intake manifold blew up because there is a little bit of overlap on the intake and exhaust gears or uh, valves. So what happened, I think, is it shot a flame out back here and it blew that off. I, I wanted to make a metal one, but I'll just have to make a reinforced plastic one because the metal one's not going to work. So. I'll just reinforce the plastic one and probably print it out of a stronger filament. But yeah, it's so, that's so cool. It is getting so close. And then it also ripped this right here. Yeah, so we got a little bit to fix. I'm gonna post the video here because next video will be actually fully running. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video. It should be coming out pretty soon because because it is literally everything internally is sound with this engine. It's figuring out how to keep the carburetor on the engine and I got to fix that uh, gear tensioner. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.